Cool. All right, uh, hello, how you doing? I'm Mike Isabella, Graffiato Restaurant in DC. You know, I decided to do this project a while ago and then I, I got a phone call right after I signed the lease for uh, Top Chef All Stars. And then obviously going on TV and com to compete, it didn't make sense for me to leave DC, number one, but number two, I think DC is the best city to open up a restaurant in right now. I mean, you have three new hotels going to the convention center, that means more conventions. You have the government here, you have tons of tourism here, you have, you know, all the sports out here. So for me, it's a, it's a great city to be a part in. Uh, I think DC keeps growing and it keeps expanding. And for me, that's kind of like where you want to be. There's, you can't grow much more in New York. Hi, I'm Jonna, and I write for JonnaKnowsGoodFood.com, which is a Washington, D.C. based food blog. I've been in D.C. for 11 years now, and when I was in D.C., when I first got to D.C., Chinatown was nothing. There was nothing there. And now you have this like explosion of all these restaurants that are, you know, building, I guess, building their own name in D.C. in these different areas. Whether it be, you know, the cupcake scene, the half smoke scene, the, you know, I have the best patio, and it's just, it's great. I love how it's changed because before there was, it really wasn't as many options. There was a time when we were considered inferior, the, the DC restaurant scene was considered inferior to like Chicago or New York or San Francisco. And I think that we're slowly moving away from that stigma that we don't have good quality chefs or that we don't compete with those cities. So I think it's just a matter of time before we are able to feel respected and confident. I mean, where else will you go where in any given month, 12 new restaurants are opening up? Spike is the face of Good Stuff Eatery and, um, and We The Pizza. So if you've been in the restaurant business for a very long time, you know that competition is very healthy. A street becomes a restaurant scene. So it's not it's not great just being alone somewhere. So we welcomed, you know, we welcomed our own competition, obviously more than we would somebody else's, but we just in general welcome competition because it just it's just better. It's interesting because in DC there's we grow as sort of a community and in, inside the industry and it was about the West End, it was about becoming a part of this community. And there's, there's a restaurant right there, there's a restaurant right there, there's two over there that are the same price point would attract the same diners, but we invite them all in to try the food beforehand and they're gonna send you guests and they can't take them, so DC is a very transient city, so at one point there weren't a lot of restaurants. We didn't need to be perfect. We didn't, need, you know, the competition wasn't there because they didn't demand it of us. And I find now DC is becoming so much more of a um, people are staying here, they're living here, they're demanding more from us, and they're loving it. And it's really becoming a food town. And with so many small pieces of little groups of people from all over the country, it was hard to have that food culture, which is all about tradition. And so I think we're getting there. We're, we're really finding to see what makes DC special, DC and food, what makes it special.